All right, so <laughs> this is going to be a little bit different of a setup here. Um, okay, so this is a Robert Kassar, and this is this is going to go into nutrition, and um, this isn't this isn't a video where. I'm uh, going to be be on one side or the other side of, of anything because in order to truly come to an understanding of uh, all of our surroundings, and this includes not just what we are taught to uh, perceive on the outside, what we are taught to fixate on the outside and ignore the inner shit. This is uh, a representation of, of what happens whenever you start to do the work for yourself. You start to come to these layers and uh, you have findings and you think that something is the answer until you find a pure precision purpose a, a pure purpose a, a clarity so uh this is all this is is just showcasing this process here Oh, I, I, I gotta kind of uh, reel in a, a little bit because there's many pathways that I could take that I could go down with this because there's there's also many pathways that this guy could go down with this uh, and, as well as people finding out um, about like a uh, streamline fucking pathways to uh, re-enliven the body and re-enliven certain hormones inside the body and that's going to give a um, immediate sensation and a, a short term causation that, that that happens and, and yes you will experience this but on the long term unless you uh, start to integrate more and find clearer ways of integrating and this and this goes into Deeper levels of fasting. The uh, one of the one of the many reasons why we fast is so that we can get clear on uh, what what true food and sustenance is. And and yes, you can you can go into modalities of uh, vegetarian veganism, uh, g realizing that oh I I I do need to go to the carnivore diet because that does give me more energy and and blah blah blah. And yes, you will experience that, but in time, you will come to find things inside of you shutting down. This is very interesting to me because he's had pieces correct with uh with the meat eating and and now he's he's and we've seen this with with so many people they go uh to the deep end with with one extreme and then they they bounce back and go to the other end to the extreme and each time they they raise that arm high claiming that this is the answer this is 
what you need to do. Okay, so uh, let's start this. Plants detox you and cleanse you, and meat heals you. Dr. Robert Kazar, EarthRacademy.com. Uh, I mean, both of those things can do the detoxing and the healing. If you've sustained from one and then go into the other, it's going to be that which which you need because that that's what happens. Whenever you switch up your diet to such an extreme, your your body has a certain kind of reaction, and it doesn't necessarily matter as long as it's not like you know pure bullshit junk food. Whenever you switch it up, your body's going to have a reaction to that, and your you are going to sense that as, oh, hey, I like this. This is good for me. And then you are going to keep doing that because you have been taught, you know, uh, habitual shit with your indoctrination system to, to keep doing what brings you uh, those good feelings, you know, those dopamine highs. And, and it's a ping-ponging effect here, people. We need to realize that you're the you're the fucking ball that, that's ping-ponging back and forth. Stop being that fucking ball and just stop everything. Realize both of the fucking polarities, both of the sides that's being played here. And I mean, part of the process for most people is you got to go through this for yourself. That that's that is the greatest teacher that you will ever come to find is direct experience. So there's no right or wrong here, even though you know uh, I'm I'm disagreeing with with a lot of what he is saying right here right? in the long term, but. And for, and as far as the direct experience, I am in agreement that he is experiencing things and he's learning from that. And I, I recommend that for everyone to do that for yourself instead of being a fucking tool and a slave to the mentality you have been taught. Okay, and he, he has this plant mentality. So, uh, just doing that and saying plant, separating plants and meats. With, with just saying plants, you are, uh, admitting your ignorance, your level of awareness. Because... We can assume that by plants you mean the leafy greens of the plants, but there are so many aspects of the fucking plant. Why the plant exists, how the plant grows, the the roots, the tubers, the fucking solar panels of the fucking plant, the goddamn fruit that it creates, and if you put forth your energy and your awareness and your you give your DNA to the plant the fruit that comes from it is of the highest level that is supreme healing so this is uh, another layer that this guy is going to go through and yes uh, it's funny like reading the comments of this guy's uh, videos because you can see in his face you know, that, that it shows the wear and tear that he's been doing with all the cleansing and all the dieting. And yes, he, he is on to something with meat heals the flesh, but 
and so he's gonna come right back full circle into the parasites because that's where he came from was don't go in the meat because they're all full of parasites oh oh but now you know oh he, he's not talking about the parasites he's talking about how flesh heals flesh and by doing that, you, you're skipping a, a major step. And that step is the fruits. How to utilize your own biomechanics, bioacoustic resonance with the things around you, with the plant growth process. How to even plant a seed. First and foremost, it starts with seeds, people. How to plant a seed and imbue it with your DNA. So that on the in the onset, it's already growing for you. It's it's growing so that it can bring about a fruit for your healing. Research this stuff for yourself and, and go beyond the research and do it for yourself. The healing doesn't come from the plants or the meats. It comes from the integration, the connection and the correlations that we create. The healing first comes from within. Rethinking reality. Wow. Okay, let's go over this. Now, we all know that plants can detox you very easily. They can cleanse you very easily. We've been talking about this for over 10 years. Not just plants. There, there, there are many things. Just, just do distilled water. That's going to be the, the, the deepest cleanse. And I mean, this guy does fucking retreats where they just do fucking just water. Just distilled water. Like, ah, it's, it's weird. The mentality that this guy gets in. Because it's like he does the shit, but then he... Hmm. But I mean, this this is why I'm I'm showing this. This is a mentality that a lot of people have. It's they don't quite uh, they haven't quite got there yet. So they uh, ping pong, they flip back and forth. People are flippy floppy and wishy washy. And that's not to take away from anything that this guy does. Uh, he's he's done amazing stuff, and you can learn a lot from this guy, and from the people that uh, come to his retreats. And the people that he brings in to help uh, with the integration process, the quote unquote doctors or, or healers or whatever he brings in. They can feed you minimally, but remember their systems are completely different than our systems because they're solar panel systems. Plants feed the world, right? Plankton feed the world. They feed all the fish smaller to bigger. Everything keeps on eating everything. And finally, things that actually are bigger organisms or more complex organisms that have... See, now, now this is exactly what happens whenever you start eating meat regularly. You, you get in, back into this mentality of a dog-eat-dog dog world of the stories that you have been led to believe are true. The solar panels are there to absorb not just light, but information. Not just from the sun. Not just from the moon. Not just from your body, even. From all the surroundings that it's able to pick up. From all the light coatings that it's able to pick up. From all the stars, all the planets. 
And all this correlates to how it can bring in what your body needs specifically and how you aid in that process is you have your bare feet on the soil of these plants that you're going to be taking the, from the fruit of these plants and maybe even uh, the leafy greens, the solar, solar panels. But first you have to imbue your DNA into the seeds and sprout them and then constantly be in communion with them and the level of healing on this level you this is this is the direct level so there's there's nothing else that is a substitute or that comes close Yes, drinking the Orin will, will get you very clean and very uh, clear in the mind, but this is, in my mind, this is a stepping stone to remind people of the true healing with their natural surroundings, with the plants, being in communion with the animals. Not, not feeling a need to eat them, but working with them, allowing them to come to you and to show you that they want to serve you. They want to help you. This may sound like, uh, like it's unbelievable, but... Once you tap into a place where you can do this for yourself and go out in nature and are able to calm yourself, calm your mind and your breath and your heartbeat to where you can have animals approach you and you can start to commune with them on certain levels. But you're not going to have anywhere close to that kind of connection if you're still eating meat. If the animals sense that they are in danger, then they're not going to want to come around you, obviously. If they smell that stench inside of you, that doesn't just come from meat. It comes from a lifestyle of uh, eating synthetic bullshit. So yeah, that, that's basically all, all I'm going to say for this one. I'm not even going to play all that much because it's, it's just layers here. Layers of resonance, layers of remembrance. And you've got to do the work for yourself. We, we can learn from each other. But you have to take the time to go out in nature and be still and silent for yourself. You have to do that. No one can do that for you. Feel the real. And you're going to do that by exposing yourself to nature. Bearing yourself and your soul, your spirit, tapping back into feeling your fucking spirit again. Whatever uh, form of modality that needs to take for you. This is how we get clear. We do what deep down we know we need to do. And that's going to lead us to the next thing. And the next thing, which is going to chip away at the bullshit so that we can get clear again. This is what we out here talking about. Getting fucking clear again. Getting real again. Peace.